Hey guys, if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for links to some great online retailers. There's also individual links for knives that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. No idea what's in there, uh, but we're going to find out together as usual. Thanks so much to my generous patrons for supporting me right now. If you'd like to get your hands on some cool stickers and other benefits, there's of course a link down in the description. You're supporting me in the world to me and please follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Alrighty, let's go ahead and make a quick tactical incision. Cut some tape here. Perfect. Perfect unboxing tool. Okay, more tactical peanuts, which I appreciate because, you know, hey, there we go. I think I know what this is uh, because I use them for shipping, so that's nice. All right, let's take a look at this note. Uh, do you have an Instagram here real quick? Oh, he does not. Um, have no Instagram or YouTube. Shout out a patron or fan. All right, well, hey, I'm going to shout you out as both. <laughs> I'm sure that wasn't intended for me to read verbatim, but... Thank you so much. Uh, really appreciate that. Uh, sending something for me to review. I think, mainly because I know what it is and I can I read the outside of the box and you guys already know. This is uh, a launch series knife from Kirsch. Holy crap. Is this? Hang on. I don't want to take a guess on the designer before look. This is the launch 13. Uh, from Kershaw, which I will link down in the description. Excuse me, sorry. Tactical Peanuts, you are not the highlight of this episode. Oh boy, that is a pretty extreme departure from what I expect uh, from the launch series. Um, why am... This looks very Elijah Isham. Is that the designer? I'm going to have to look that up. I mean, if it's not, let me read his note. Hey, here is one sec. Uh, da, 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 da. Weighs one ounce more than the Guardian Tactical GTX 25. That's cool. All right. Interesting. Okay. Well, I don't see anything about Elijah. I, should, I could be wrong about that. It's just that's what it makes me think of. But man, oh, wait. No, that's that's Kershaw's in-house mark. So I, I believe anyway. Um, so I guess this is an in-house design, but very interesting, very er extremely ergonomic, I like that. And this uh, very aggressive, futuristic, worn cliffy blade is pretty cool. Honestly, and look at that captive pivot. Oh, in fact, look at how they cut the pivot like a gem. That's cool. Uh, these are US made, nice pocket clip, very nice action. And these are using CPM 154, which is, which is my very favorite steel of all time. Very, very cool. Um, the launch series knives, truthfully, are hit or miss for me. Uh, some of them have been, you know, okay. Some of them I'm like, no, pass. And a couple of them I've really liked. But this one's interesting. I'll have to play with it for a little bit to get my full thoughts. But right off the bat, very lightweight, very ergonomic, and very, very futuristic looking. Uh, pretty cool. The nice thing about these is that they are U.S. made. And as far as other U.S. Uh, automatic knives go... Uh, these have incredibly competitive uh, pricing. So that is, that's something to, to consider. You know, I know a lot of people really want to make sure and spend their money on U.S. products right now. So if you're looking for an auto and you can legally carry it in your area, this is one to check out or the en entire Kershaw launch line. So I'll link this guy and all of the Kershaw launch series knives that are currently available so you guys can check them all out if you want to. Very cool. I think that's pretty much all I have to say about that right now. We'll uh, get the full details when I do the full review. <laughs> I have to say this for people who actually stuck around to watch. There are, every time I do an unboxing, there's at least one person who's like, what a crap review. <laughs> oh my gosh, it says unboxing in the title, right? <laughs> it's an unboxing. An unboxing is not a review. An unboxing is... Me opening up a knife that I've never, or usually a knife that I've never handled before. I give my first impressions, and then two to three weeks later, you get a full detailed review on it. So, <laughs> I mean, I can understand. I mean, so I'm, I'm elongating this unboxing to, to you know, to, to uh, I'm taking an opportunity to, to, to monologue 
I guess. But um, for new people coming into the channel, they're watching something, they're assuming it's a review. They don't, I mean, I understand, you know, your, your attention span when you're scrolling through YouTube is not at 100%, not really paying attention. Most people don't watch the whole video and that's okay. So they watch like one or two minutes until it's unboxed. And then they they hear me say like, yeah, it's kind of neat ergonomically. And then they're like, what a, ter <laughs> what a terrible review. I'm sorry. I watched the whole video. Anyways, yeah. Uh, first impressions, great. We'll uh, return to this knife here in a couple of weeks. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this short little unboxing. If you did, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do not like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.